Both my husband and I had done a lot with our lives. We travelled together, we both had successful careers, but we felt that there was something missing. And we came to the conclusion that what was missing was a child. It took us almost five years to get to the point of having a successful pregnancy. After the baby was born and we had come home, I would go to bed and sleep for two or three hours. And then I would be woken up with this fear that was completely paralyzing me. That is what would wake me up and I would, um, my heart would be pounding, I would be sweating profusely, um, but my feet would be really, really cold. Um, I would feel nauseous, I had um, diarrhea. Um, I was very, very agitated. I would have to get out of the bed and I would be walking up and down. The adrenaline was coursing through my body and my heart was racing. There was this constant terror that in some way I would harm my child. When I used to drive the car, I remember looking at the oncoming traffic and looking for large trucks that I could drive underneath. I had the sense of being about to be attacked by this, this black dog. It was always behind me on my left hand side and um, as the fear got more and more overwhelming this dog became bigger and bigger and it was towering above me over my left shoulder and it was going to engulf me and consume me and I would be gone. Being admitted into the mother and baby unit was the best thing that ever could have happened to me. Hello. Hi. The mother and baby units are specialist mental health units that are there to support new mothers with young babies when they need to come into hospital. Come on, we're going through to the garden. The units are staffed by nurses with special experience and expertise in looking after babies. Our unit has a paediatrician, a psychologist and a pharmacist who can specialise in giving advice on the kind of medications that are safe in breastfeeding, for example. And so if a new mother needs to come into hospital for mental health treatment, she doesn't have to be separated from her baby. After I was discharged from the hospital, my day-to-day -day survival, if you like, was still very hard work. But as the months went on, it became easier and easier. I started to think about having a second child. I didn't want him to, to grow up alone. I wanted him to have a, a baby brother or sister. Are you going to chat to me? Are you going to chat? After my second son was born, Things were very easy and I was very happy. I'd had such a positive birthing experience. But after about two weeks, my anxiety started to increase. Having postnatal depression for the second time and having to go to a mother and baby unit again really enforced me that this that what I was experiencing was an illness. It wasn't a f because I wasn't a strong enough personality or I had a weak character. It just reiterated to me that this is an illness that has definite symptoms and that can be treated. There is medication and there is help for it. You do get better. You do come out the other end eventually. <laughs> 